Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to show you how I make my moisturizing and hydrating shampoo. This shampoo is amazing for so many hair types, especially type 4 hair. My inspiration for this shampoo was from Sheer Moisture. They have this amazing Moringa and Avocado hair shampoo that is just amazing on your hair. It leaves your hair soft, silky and shiny. So that was my inspiration. So I'm going to show you step by step how I make this shampoo. So let's jump right in. And if this is your first time stopping by, my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos. I'm going to weigh out my ingredients and everything I used for this recipe will be listed in the description box along with um, the places where I purchase my ingredients from. I'm getting started with distilled water, that's the first ingredient. Next is aloe vera juice. This is very moisturizing on your hair. If you don't have aloe vera juice, you can use aloe vera powder or you can replace the aloe vera juice amount with water. I'm using honey quart. This is able to penetrate your hair and it provides moisturizing benefits and shine. Other options would be honey powder or raw honey. Next is Silk Amino Acids. This is amazing for your hair. It's able to penetrate and moisturize your hair very well. Other options would be Panthenol or Vitamin B3. Now that all our water-based ingredients are combined, I'm going to set this aside and work on my surfactants. I'm using Coco Betaine. That's the first surfactant I'm going to be using. This is a mild, gentle surfactant. You can use any other surfactant that you prefer. Next one is Desol Glucoside. This is also a mild and gentle surfactant. I'm using my Moringa and Amla infused oil. I infused both powders in some grapeseed oil and these powders have so many amazing benefits for your hair. Next is avocado oil. You can also use sunflower oil or olive oil. I'm also using Natraceil. This is a natural alternative to silicones. It's made from um, olive oil. It just helps your hair feel smooth and moisturized. Of course, if you don't have this, you can still make this shampoo. You can just leave it out of this recipe. I'm using sunflower lecithin for my emulsifier. You can also use soy lecithin or polysorbate 60. I'm not a fan of using any of the polysorbates in the recipes that I make, but that is just a personal preference. So I just mixed everything all in. Um, the only problem I had was with my sunflower lecithin. It was semi-solid and liquid. So what I would suggest if you have that problem, um, just heat up your oil um, slightly and add in your sunflower lecithin so that way it can melt in. I'm just using my um, whisk to blend everything all in. To my surfactants, I'm going to add in my oil-based ingredients. Um, you don't have to do it this way. You can also add in your oils directly to your water ingredients. Um, it just depends on how you want to make this recipe. So I'm just mixing my surfactants in with the oil just to make sure everything is well combined. Um, you want to be careful because of um, having too much lather. I still ended up with a lot of lather, but just be careful when you're mixing. So so 
and this is what my surfactants mix is looking like i'm just going to add in my water-based ingredients to my surfactants i ended up doing it the other way i'm not sure what i was thinking but add in your water to your surfactant uh, mixture it will definitely help with your bubbles and not having a lot of lather and i want to say a big thank you to each of you for your support so far this time last year i had about 60 subscribers so i am so thankful for your support and to the 5k winners your um, box will go out in the next uh, day or two i'm using guacat um, this is a thickening and conditioning ingredient but honestly you can use uh, gua gum that works amazing as well i'm adding in some vegetable glycerin to the guacat just to hydrate the uh, guacat and mix everything well I checked the pH of the shampoo. You want a pH range of 4.5 to 5.5. I added in some citric acid solution to lower the pH and the final pH was 5.2. And then I added in my preservative. There are so many options for preservatives. I'll leave my preservatives video in the description box. And after adding in my preservative, I'm just going to mix very well. And this is what my consistency is looking like. I added in a little bit of gua gum and glycerin um, to my shampoo just to thicken it up some more. Um, I think I prefer xanthan gum in my shampoos. Um, so just play around with the thickness and see um, what works for you. If you want a thicker shampoo, then just add uh, some more gua gum or xanthan gum. Um, so I'm just going to set this aside overnight. So the next day, this is what the shampoo looked like. All the lather and bubbles on the top were gone. Um, the shampoo only thickened up slightly. It's not a very uh, thick shampoo. So of course you can make it thicker if you like. Um, just adjust your thickener depending on um, what uh, thickener you use um, and the amount. That would uh, determine how thick your shampoo is going to be but so far this is what i have i'm going to go ahead and package up this shampoo and the hydrating moisturizing shampoo is ready this is such a lovely shampoo to use on your hair and my inspiration like i said was from the sheer moisture shampoo um, i'm going to show you a side by side of both shampoos together so you can see the difference um, but i really enjoyed using this shampoo on my hair let me know what you think in the comments i hope you try out this recipe please reach out to me in the comments if you have questions and please don't forget to like this video Please subscribe if you've not and turn on your notifications and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.